kid, I called this the cheese park because there was a, a structure for us to climb on that looked like a kind of a giant piece of Swiss cheese. And it had uh, holes in it, you know, that we could climb through and stuff. But they tore that down a long time ago, built this skate park here. Which was probably a great idea. There's the Guadalupe Church over there. Well, let's just walk up Guadalupe Street here. Still very much winter time here in Santa Fe. And we are definitely looking at snow on the mountains. Howdy. This is the river. And uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to walk all the way up to Paseo de Peralta and then go down into the river and walk back down in the riverbed. Should be a pretty nice hike, so I hope you're all going to stick with me. Sarah and Sons over there. I don't think that's a good thing. <laughs> Hello. Hi. So, I've had a lot of problems with this camera as far as stabilization, video stabilization. And I had read in a review that the video stabilizer on this camera wasn't very good. But when I was looking at the settings on my camera, So, turn the video stabilizer on, and I'm hoping for better results. I had bought a contraption to stabilize the camera, but it didn't seem to help much. Uh, I'm using a new contraption right now. Uh, it's actually kind of like a, uh, sort of like a walking stick with a camera mount on top. And uh, it's not really d supposed to help that much with stabilization, but I expect it will a little bit because it does lower the center of gravity of the camera quite a bit. Uh, um, uh, the cool thing about it is that if you want to plant 
uh, to get a shot uh, and kind of a, a, a nice stable shot you just extend it and uh, it's a collapsible walking stick and when you extend it you can kind of use it like a monopod and it just uh, it stabilizes your shot and you can do a nice stable pan or uh, there's you know uh, it's great because you can just sort of rest your arm on it if your arm starts to get tired from holding the camera up. going to be exploring the underside of all of these bridges when I walk down the river. There's an interesting sculpture here. Let's take a look at it. It's uh, right across the way from the Del Charo Saloon. And the message is hope. Kind of like this artist's work. Uh, if you might have seen one of his sculptures in another one of my videos up on Canyon Road. Road is closed. State police have the Capitol complex all closed off. That's interesting. Never seen that before. So, I've had a lot of problems with this camera as far as stabilization, video stabilization. And I had read in a review that the video stabilizer on this camera wasn't very good. But when I was looking at the settings on my camera, So, turn the video stabilizer on, and I'm hoping for better results. I had bought a contraption to stabilize the camera, but it didn't seem to help much. Uh, I'm using a new contraption right now. Uh, it's actually kind of like a, uh, sort of like a walking stick with a camera mount on top. And uh, it's not really d supposed to help that much with stabilization, but I expect it will a little bit because it does lower the center of gravity of the camera quite a bit. Uh, um, uh, the cool thing about it is that if you want to plant uh, to get a shot uh, and kind of a, a, a nice stable shot you just extend it and uh, it's a collapsible walking stick and when you extend it you can kind of use it like a monopod and it just uh, it stabilizes your shot and you can do a nice stable pan or uh, there's you know 
Uh, it's great because you can just sort of rest your arm on it if your arm starts to get tired from holding the camera up. going to be exploring the underside of all of these bridges when I walk down the river. There's an interesting sculpture here. Let's take a look at it. It's uh, right across the way from the Del Charo Saloon. And the message is hope. Kind of like this artist's work. Uh, if you might have seen one of his sculptures in another one of my videos up on Canyon Road. Road is closed. State police have the Capitol complex all closed off. That's interesting. Never seen that before. Alright, and uh, let's continue up the Alameda here. There's a Supreme Court building. State police have the state capitol all blocked off for some reason. We don't really know why. The legislature's in session, and I guess they're maybe they're trying to hide something. They're probably trying to pass some nefarious legislation or something, and don't want anybody to know what they're up to. <laughs> can't think of any other reason why they do that but those actually uh, it's always been my understanding that legislative proceedings are supposed to be open to the public it's sort of an interesting sculpture here let's take a look at it It says one, two, who chant them in this sustre blaze. One touch and the meniscus trembles. One touch and the meniscus trembles. It's starting to snow just a little bit, which is nice. It should add to the ambiance of my walk down the river. Not terribly worried about the camera as long as it doesn't get too bad.
Santa Fe River is flowing ice at the moment. Italian cafe over there looks like it's open. <coughs> A few tourists hanging out. There's the world famous Inn at Loretto Hotel, right next to the world famous Loretto Chapel, right over there. Road is closed to the Capitol building. State police everywhere. <clears throat> I don't know about you, but I feel like the country is moving closer to totalitarianism towards a police state. turning into a police state. Howdy. Good. It's the Santa Fe River Park, basically, what we're doing here. Just walking upstream up the Alameda. It's like it's snowing pretty hard up on the mountains over there. That's a raven. This is the Brothers Lane Bridge. And there's a little path that goes between the buildings all the way up uh, to, um, oh gosh, what can I think of the name of the street right now? Well, it goes all the way through, in, in any case, to Cerro de Peralta. Uh, which you can see over there, but Cerro de Peralta hooks around. So if I was taking a shortcut and trying to get to the store, I would maybe go take that little trail, trying to get to Connie's or something. There's a bus stop. Another view of the Loretto Chapel here. Backside, and you can just see the steeple from the, the Loretto Chapel, and then there's the Inn at Loretto right in front of it. Over there, you can just kind of see the St. Francis Cathedral. Hi. I always liked climbing on that log. I'll do it right now. Oh, balance isn't what it used to be. 
Whoa. That fish is, I've always really liked that fish. It, uh, it used to be painted really bright colors, but, uh, it's faded, of course, in the sunlight over the years. Hasn't been touched up recently. Just this really cool fish. Kind of hanging out in the weeds. Carved out of a single piece of tree. Cottonwood, I think, which is really soft wood and it doesn't last very long. It tends to fall apart. This is a El Castillo. El Castillo Retirement Facility. Man, do I ever wish I could retire in a place like that, right in the heart of downtown Santa Fe. Some more really nice sculptures here. It's an angel, obviously, but I'm not educated enough to tell you which one it is. Obviously, that whatever it's holding in its hand there signifies which angel we're looking at. Another angel. Cool, it's got like an eyeball on its chest. This angel has an eyeball on its chest. And beautiful painted toenails. Obviously, they all need a little touch up. Oh, there's the artist, artist name, I think, and looks like the date, 2001. Alrighty, this is going to conclude our walk down the Alameda, up the Alameda, and uh, I don't know if I'm, gonna, I guess what I'm going to do is as a separate video, I'm going to publish my walk down the Alameda part two. Uh, walk down the Santa Fe River part two in HD beginning right here with this bridge I'm gonna walk all the way down the Santa Fe River to the uh, Santuario de Guadalupe 
And uh, so I hope you'll stick with me for that. Ciao.